Uh, first, I'm, I'm interested in to plot the VT graph. Initial velocity U. Uh, this uh, let me extend further. Yeah. And this will be initial velocity u. Uh, th 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 these are sometimes very important for us. That's why I'm trying to. So this will be minus u, this will be minus v. This is what velocity. And what about this u by g to u by g and this is p. This is about the velocity versus time graph. Then speed versus time graph. Again, I have to plot one more curve. U speed, this is U by G. To U by G, this is T. Now this is the speed cannot be negative. It will come and strike the ground with a speed more than the initial speed of projection. Now what about the distance covered? The next idea. First, it will undergo retarding motion. Then, then accelerated motion. Okay, this will be the time u by g to u by g, this is t. And we have to interpret this properly. This is the position. Is it correct? Is, is it really right or wrong? This is something very important. I intentionally, I do like this. Is it correct? So let, let's do one thing. <coughs> it will ascend an ith. Then again, should descend, no? The velocity will change, no? You see the direction of motion is not changing. So therefore this part of curve is not correct. The entire... It's a very interesting one. Just you see that one. So usually we have a practice of acceleration, deceleration, plotting this one. No, no. Here the curve This will be curve. So this is the 2u by g. This is a time. This is u by g. This is the odd that h. And this is the position I'll write it. 
hope everyone is able to understand now uh, see here like at ih point it will come to rest what is the slope slope should be zero it is projected with a velocity the slope should be non zero and and if you write this theta 1 theta 2 magnitude of that in fact should be equal any reason because what is the speed of the object at t equal to zero and after two u by g should be same only the direction of motion is going to change so this will be the velocity this will be the speed and this will be the position of a particle as a function of time Okay, I'll, I'll give all the units. So I think these are very important for a body projected vertically if, uh, from a tower of height at t equal zero. <coughs> the velocity, speed, and the position graph is given by this particular graph is what I'm displaying here. Now, what should be the slope? At slope at this point should be zero, no, because that this is at highest point. I just went from where, from the tower, and it's come to instantaneous rest here. So therefore, the slope should be zero here. Okay, there's all the the basic ideas related to body projected from a tower of I H. Let's take the some numericals. A parachutist drops first freely from an aeroplane for ten seconds.